How's it going everyone? Thanks for being here. Hope you're having an awesome week. We're here on Friday celebrating the weekend with some Disney Springs. Mike, first week, we're about to experience the first weekend. How are you feeling so far? To be honest with you, a little overwhelmed. A little overwhelmed. And we talked about this earlier, but it's, I think it's because we're both kind of tired. I like how we have a view of the storm too. This is nice. But we're a little bit tired from that drive. I don't, I wanna, I'm looking forward to catching up on sleep. Because then I think I'll be able to take it in with different eyes. I feel like that's going to be a big part of it. But to truly overwhelmed, having a magical time, trying to better understand the fact that I'm here. I don't think I fully understood it. I don't think so. So I'm looking forward to the weekend and wake up in the morning and go into Disney. I'm like, that, that part alone is going to be so cool. How about you, Dave? I am completely in agreement on a couple of different things. First of all, great hideaway spot here from the storm. If you're trying to avoid the rain, it's a thought. Get some Giardelli, take a seat under this cover here. Very nice. And also the, the Disney life hitting us. It's it, it still feels like a vacation. And we keep hearing from friends that it's going to take two months, three months to really soak in that we are here and that we're living here, not just that we're visiting. And I think... I'm, I'm starting to believe that more and more, and my estimate for how long it'll take to really soak in is longer and longer, and part of that is probably because of how often we've come in the past. If you think about it, compared to those who say it took them two months, they may not have come as many times in their lives as we have. So it's a point to consider, for sure. Additionally, I think that there's a component for us of getting enough sleep, right? We're still acclimating to the lifestyle and we're still trying to find the time to do it all but also to be able to to sleep and make sure that we are being healthy and, and that sort of thing. So I wanted to ask you Mike, what are you thinking about our being in Disney Springs today? How are you feeling about having been in all the parks? Do you think that we should have gone to the parks today or are you glad we took some time? Let me know what you think. I uh, of course would rather be at the parks. No, you know, I can't say that. Strike that, strike that. I want to be at the parks. But I love Disney Springs too. I think what happens is, and this is this is a neat thing. You let me know what you what you think. I feel like I get caught up in the I've got to go to the park. I've got, I've got to go, got to go, got to go. And it's it's turned into a no. I don't have to go. I can relax for for a day, for an afternoon. And that's that is a part of the process. This is part of the transition from vacation or to residence. We're gonna start to feel like nope, no park, no park is okay. No park is okay. So even when just thinking about not going to the parks today. It was, was just, it's, I don't know, not sitting right? It was, it was a weird feeling. But now it feels like, oh no, this is this was a smart goal because we both, we're both tired. So we're both to a point where it's like, we're gonna come back, sit back for a while, maybe six, seven, eight o'clock, and then head on back, get some sleep, or another magical day tomorrow, and the day after that, the day after that. So I feel really good about this decision now that we're here. What do you think? I agree. I think, for one thing, I feel like Disney Springs gives us so much more of that feeling of we're residents and oh, relaxation. Yes. Oh, yes. I think that when we go to the parks, the miles that we're putting on our feet, <laughs> the hours that we're there, we, we're just constantly walking. If we finish something, we find ourselves walking before we've decided what we're doing next. I think that's a lot less typical of a resident and a lot more typical of a vacationer. And so that's, I think that's one habit, one trait that we, we continue to work on and we'll continue to see change and develop over time, right? We definitely feel more relaxed, especially at the resorts and in Disney Springs and at the restaurants. But I feel like in the parks, we're still doing a little bit of that fast pace, rushing around, uh, that sort of thing. In terms of what seems like a normal amount, what seems like a good amount? You know, we initially talked about coming to the parks two to three times a week, right? Now we're looking at... <laughs> That didn't almost, happen, that didn't happen. Almost every day this week. What seems about right for you moving forward in terms of striking that healthy balance between getting to go out and enjoy the magic, but also being able to get the healthy amount of rest and take care of everything else that needs to be done? You mean the life stuff? Life stuff. And, and resting and relaxing and eating healthy and getting work done and that sort of thing. Because the calories don't count the first month of residency. Uh -huh. A month? Uh, maybe a week. Uh, I don't know, healthy things. I'm gonna say, I guess I could say three days a week, but I think it's going to take me some time to get to that level. I feel like a few more weeks of me coming every day is like, and I don't think that's a bad thing, I think it's a good thing. It's gonna get my mind a little bit better prepared for the fact that this is gonna be a longer term plan. For me. So I'm excited about that, but 
three times a week, maybe. So we'll start with four. We did four this week, so three eventually. Right. That makes sense. And I definitely, I could see that there's a curve, right? Even though we know we're residents now, there's some time it's going to take us to acclimate, to be really comfortable with the idea coming three times a week. Yeah, the idea of coming three times a week and not feeling like we're missing something. Even today. Even right? today. There's, yeah. there's kind of a feeling of, oh, like we could be in the parks, we should be in the parks. But I think it'll start, as it starts to hit you more and more, that you can come any day, any week, any month, then it'll be easier and easier to say, all right, maybe today we'll just go to Disney Springs, or maybe today we'll just go to some resorts. It, it, but I think you kind of hit the nail on the head there with the, it's right there, so I should go. And that part is, is not quite, it takes time. That takes time to change over. Because yes, you can go, and maybe you should, maybe you should, but you don't have to. The not have to is the part that takes time to process, at least for me. Right. That makes a lot of sense. It's, yeah. it, it is. It, it's a feeling of, I'm going to miss something there you go. There if you I go. don't go. What's it called? FOMO? Fear of missing yes. out? Yeah. Fear of missing out. It's a, it's a fear of a missed opportunity, right? Was it one more chance I could have gone? And, and the chances still feel so... So sparse, so few and far between, because we have only had so many chances since we've been here. I don't think we haven't even hit all the parks yet since we've been here. Hollywood Studios haven't been. Right. And haven't you seen Animal Kingdom during the morning days. Right. Morning hours. And you know there's so much we still have to do in each park. I still haven't been on Flight of Passage. I know a lot of friends have been asking, have I been on Flight of Passage yet? Did not get a chance to go last night. The wait time was too long. It was too late at night. We were too tired for oh, yeah. that. Oh yeah. Um, so one of these days we'll get a chance to do. But uh, maybe this weekend or this coming week. Yeah, for sure. While you're uh, while you're here, I, I don't know if you're able to see that volcano over there, but the fires going off. I figured I'd share those those sights with that's you. Cool. Yeah, I'm not sure if all that lighting is coming through, uh, but that's a really really cool. And it's it's these little things, right? You get to sit and appreciate these little things, and and more and more of the little things. Whoa! You see it over there? Yeah, the the fire coming out of the top of the volcano, way about there-ish. Right around there. Yeah. Yeah, touching the screen right there. Touching the screen. Right there. Right there. Right there. Right there. Right there. Right there. Right around there. There you go. Yeah, that is, that is, that is pretty good. Right. But it's, it's really cool. And to be able to see those little things that we might not have otherwise found the time. I don't think we have ever seen that before. We yeah. saw it once, but okay. it was in passing. It was ending. I've never just... And I'm going to... I know. I know we're going to want to come back. Sit there and just wait for, for 30 minutes, an hour, no law, no problem. Sit and enjoy it and get like video of it, pictures right. of it, enjoy it. It's still going. Yeah, yeah, it is. And it's really amazing. I, I don't think I've ever seen it. So you've seen it once. Once. And in all my times at Disney. I was gonna once. say, and you've yeah. been here so many times. But it's a different feeling, it's a different pace. I think we I've said this enough and we've maybe said this enough. Yeah, we have. But it's 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 as much as we can try to describe it. It's something that you can't fully understand and appreciate, I think, until you experience it. I think the best way to experience it is seeing the progression, too. Right. Like, it's, it's, it's a pro... Like, we... I guess, in a way, we, you and I are predicting right. what it's going to be like, and I think that you probably are, too. But it's we're, we're trying to forecast what it will be like in two, in two years. Right. And that's as easy as it is to perhaps say. There's no way to know for sure until you live it. Right. But one thing I know for sure... I'm enjoying it. That I know. That makes two of us. There you go. It really is. It's an amazing experience. I'm glad that I can be here and be a part of it. And it's it's, it's something else, really. It feels like. Wait, I'm sorry. Favorite experience so far. Favorite experience since we've been here. I like I like the especially relaxing moments. Maybe I want to say Disney Springs. Right, coming to Disney Springs has just been. It's unbelievable that that we're here. We can be in Disney Springs with no feeling of pressure in terms of time as much as I love the rides and I really do I think that I'm going to come to enjoy them more and more as our pace continues to slow down more and more and more and more so the relaxing pace we've just naturally felt in springs has been really really nice for me how about you of course oh then lights came on the um, Disney Springs is amazing I love the relaxing pace there too but I think one of my favorite moments was walking into Epcot from the parking lot, it was such a, I don't know how to describe this well. You, you walk in, and it's its special because you're coming from your car. Somehow, I don't know, maybe you felt the same way. The knowledge that it's your car's there, and Spaceship Earth's right there. 
somehow that that clicked in the right way for me that made me feel really good. Driving in, seeing the Spaceship Earth and, and some of the larger attractions and parking there. It is. It's a, it's a special feeling. It's a different feeling. TTC, Animal Kingdom, well, they were great too, but somehow Epcot's parking lot kind of just hit me in a different way. It was very interesting. I loved the, the very first time that we saw Magic Kingdom as we were riding the monorail around. Oh my god. I was just, yeah. Uh, yeah, my riding the monorail around the resorts and TTC. And it was like, we're here. Yeah. But but not in a way where we're used to, where we have to do it all in a certain period of time. We're here and there's no sense of urgency. And I think, that, I mean, that's been felt. It's, it's less so an appreciation of we live here and we can come here all the time, more so of we're here, but there's no urgency. And it's going to go from that, I think, to more of a... We're here, and there's no such emergency, and we can come here every day, so we can be relaxed all the time, and do one ride today, or just one fast pass, or park hop, or whatever it is we want to do. And, you know, even beyond that, we can take time. I I don't think I've seen every store slash restaurant at Disney Springs. Just one example. Looking at Henna Art across the way from Jared Deli, I had no idea that was even there. Honest, and all the times I've been to Disney, I had no idea that it was even there. So, it's little things like that, which I know we're going to appreciate now. I'm going to walk around and just... It. Yep. It is. It's an amazing feeling. So glad to be a part of it. And so glad to be a part of it with you. This guy. This guy. And we're looking forward to sharing so many more fun adventures with you. Thank you for being a part of it. Let us know. Let me know what you'd like to see more of. Let us know what you are looking forward to most. And there is some editing to be done <laughs> from me as well. But it takes time to get to get around to. I think I think the room is starting to get settled. But now it's a question of, okay, I need to find time to invest all that time to edit as opposed to run around the parks all day, and, every and day. And finalizing the cleaning, too. There's, there's some, yeah, even though this, you know, the computers are starting to go in place, doesn't mean that the, everything else is set in place. Right. There's, you know, things to be set up still. It's true. There are a lot of components. Yeah, everything from still setting up and cleaning up to taking care of your daily necessities to, you know, gaming streams for me and all the other work that needs to be done. It's a lot to manage, so you're right. There's, there's a lot to it, and, and, and that is a component that needs to be figured out, so who knows how long it'll be until I'm able to get some editing done. But looking forward to sharing it with you. Thanks for being a part of fun with us, and we're looking forward to seeing you real soon. Until next time. Have a magical day. Game on. We'll see you real soon. Thanks for being a part of it.